for this chapter on, on um, careers and work, we're going to start by looking at what employers want. And clearly one thing that they're looking for is an education so that both men and women earn more if they have more education. And that's really a, across the board. Um, now, across the board also, you see that men are earning more than women. That may be for a variety of reasons, including bias, include, you know, as we talked about in chapter 11, um, including differences in childcare and pregnancy and child rearing and how that may interrupt people's experiences in the job, job force. Um, you know, so it may also be what kinds of careers men and women go into that male um, dominant fields tend to, to be ones that earn more, that pay more. So what do employers want? They're saying that they really value things like ethics, intercultural skills, and professional development. Those are the three things that they say are important. And actually, almost everyone says it's either important or very important. Um, they also are saying that there are things that there should be more emphasis on. Things like critical thinking and analytical reasoning, complex problem solving and analysis, written and oral communication, application you know, into real life settings, information literacy and innovation and creativity. These are things that as you go through your classes, you'll probably see these in a variety of different settings. Um, employers want other kinds of experience, not just, um, you know, what is going on in, in the classroom. So internships and employment during college, for example, are things that help a, help a student to understand uh, and commit to what they're doing. It gives them some experience and an ability to know whether this is something that they really enjoy. College major is important, but not as important as many undergraduates believe. And as an advisor, I would rather that you chose something that you were excited by that will allow you to, to develop some of some of the skills, for example, that we talked about here. And almost every major is going to help build those skills. Um, the kinds of volunteer experience and extracurriculars that you're involved with will help you to develop a sense of, um, demonstrate your passion, your commitment, your recognition about how things here translate to here. And of course, you know, are you able to talk about your coursework and how it, it applies to the work that you're doing? Um, how did you do in school? And finally, college reputation. We're going to go on and talk about how to, how to apply that to yourself and think about um, how you are going to develop your career skills. Take care.